Welcome back, guys. This is Vic up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee, and today we're going for a test drive in a 1968 C10 pickup truck. This one here's got a 454 with an aluminum radiator, gear drive, you hear it? Power steering, electric fans. Got front disc brakes on this one, two-tone paint job. Interior's been replaced. Pretty clean truck all the way around. Has a few chips and scratches, so definitely watch the walk around video that I posted. It's gonna be linked to the end of this one about the last 30 seconds. That way you get two videos, you know, everything about it, running and driving and all the flaws. Do my best doing that. Check us out at maplemotors.com. You can see all of our inventory. We update that every Monday. That's on maplemotors.com, not here on YouTube. We put new cars on maplemotors.com on Monday. So hit that subscribe button, it's about that time. Let's go for a ride. All right, before we take off, we're gonna look around the interior. Go ahead and place your bets. Do you think the horn works? This one smells like new vinyl inside, probably because the seat is practically brand new. It looks like the door panels have been replaced. You have a nice new dash pad on here. It's in great shape. Guess they also did the visors. They look pretty good. Aftermarket mirror here. We'll go ahead and start her up. Starts up nice and easy. You see the gauges that do work is our temperature gauge. We've been sitting here for a while. Motor is nice and warm. Full pressure gauge is not hooked up. We're gonna stop and get gas for sure. It's showing empty right now. Our tack needs to be hooked up. We'll check that speedo, but it's only showing 69 miles. You can tell this stuff's been replaced. That's probably why some of it's not hooked up. Wipers work. Blower motor, it doesn't work. You can tell that needs to be replaced. What about that horn? Did y'all place your bets yet? There's no spring, guys. It doesn't work. <laughs> All right, B&M shifter. We're gonna take off down the road and see how she drives. All right, getting ready to take off here. I noticed there's no seat belts in here. They haven't added any. Um, like they probably did the new seat and stuff. I was like, oh no. Didn't want to put the old ones in here, so. Let's see. Here's our reverse, just kind of let y'all see that. And let's see. Neutral drive. Heading straight to the gas station. Speedometer is coming up and is working. Let's see, try to get her straight here. Truck is pulling to the right. See it pulling me off the road here. May need some adjustments there. Speedometer is not correct. from the car still pulling nice and strong I don't see the kick down engaging so it's not hooked up go ahead and try my brakes before I get too far here the brakes are stopping good they feel good and the turn signals are popping up on the dash here Looks like they got the power company where I've turned. Let's go ahead and try to get around them. Get to the gas station here. All right. So I'm gonna pull in this gas station, go ahead and get about $20 worth of the fuel put in it. As the gas gauge is fluctuating around, I think it's working and I think it's almost empty. It's on E right now. I will uh, video it once I start it back up and let you know. All right, let's do this. All right, up here, getting some fuel at the gas station. I'll show you where you put the gas in at on this one. Right here in the bed. Tank is right up underneath. And we'll be checking that gas gauge here in just a moment. 
as soon as we get done putting fuel in it. Okay, jumping back in the ride here. Our gas gauge is on this side of the dash and one-handedly starting the truck. Look at that gas gauge working. Put $25 in it, almost filled it up. Let's keep rolling. Getting ready to pull out of here. Looks like our engine temp is uh, below half the temperature. Electric fans are working good, keeping her cool. Let's head on back to the lot. but it's been lowered a little bit. This is the road with the uh, speed bump in it. We'll hit it at a moderate speed. Speed bump's coming up right here. It's a little bit bumpier than a stock truck. behind me and that guy did that I don't understand people all right
Now we're running through Orion's Motorsports parking lot here. You want to check them out. They got wheels, tires, parts, and accessories. You can buy a car from us, run down here and get custom interior, get a set of wheels for your ride, whatever you need. They've got it. You want to check them out, jump on over to Brian'sMotorsports.com and also their Instagram page under Brian's Motorsports. They do new and old cars. Pretty much anything you want for a customization shop. That's your guy. And he is literally walking distance from Maple Motors. If you do come up here, we have uh, hotels in town. We've got a little strip mall full of stuff in between us and Brian's. We've got a little bar here and a, a lunch spot, a dinner spot, pawn shop. Got to support the locals. So we made it back to the lot now. I do appreciate you riding along with me. If you have any other questions, give us a call, 615-822-4444. I do have a website I want you to check out. Be sure to go on over there. All right, guys, thanks again. All right, guys, if you don't mind, check out maplemotors.com. You can get shipping and financing available. Hit that subscribe button for daily content. We post videos pretty much every day. I do appreciate y'all riding along with me. Thanks again, guys.